back to my channel my name is Leah as many of you will know my little boy Tommy turned one earlier in December and I just wanted to share with you some of the things that I've done to remember his first year there's so many changes in that first year so it's so important that we can try and remember them in some way so I thought I'd share with you what I've done to remember that first year and the changes that have happened one of the very first things I did when he was just a few days old was to take some footprints of his using paint and I created this little um, canvas for his bedroom and these obviously are his footprints and I've added L, O and E either side of the footprint and the footprints became a V to make the word love. So you can obviously see here how small his feet were. Actually they probably were quite big because he's quite a big baby. He was not a small baby when he was born so his feet probably weren't that small but compared to what they are now they are tiny here and so I just I'm so grateful that I was able to get that. It wasn't easy Believe me, it wasn't easy, but far easier doing the footprints than I think the handprints because obviously the hands are like to, even now, he, I struggle to get his hands to stretch out. So I decided to do footprints rather than handprints because you can get those a lot easier. So I did have some help with this. Um, my husband Keith helped me so that we could get this um, footprint and to as, be as good as possible. That now sits in his bedroom and it's there permanently. I then wanted to remember how big his feet grew as he got older so I decided to do footprints every three months. So I didn't do them when he was newborn again because we already had that for his little canvas that I just showed you but I have done them every three months since then. So the first one we have here and it's actually i show you together hopefully you can see this. Um, it says Tommy's footprints and then I've got the months at the bottom. So the first one, obviously we've got three months and six months and there is a slight difference, there's not huge differences but you can see as they get, they get bigger um, and I've coordinated that's green and green, green footprint and then six months was in blue with the blue footprints but if you compare it to his newborn ones you can see the difference uh, that they have grown quite a bit from being a newborn and then if we go to 9 and 12 months you can see that they have grown even more. This was just such a simple idea to use these canvases and anyone could do this. I, I bought finger paint from the Early Learning Centre for this because it would be sensitive enough for little fingers and little toes and just painted it onto his feet and pressed his feet against here. Now it's not perfect as you see here it, it has smudged Many of these I had to do by myself because my husband was working obviously and I tried to do it when he was three months or six months or nine months on the actual day rather than wait until the weekend when Keith could help me. But um, so, it, like, so it wasn't perfect but it doesn't really matter too much. The main thing is that I've captured the size difference. Again there wasn't a big difference between nine and twelve but if we compare three months to 12 months you can see that there's quite a big difference. Another thing that I've done is kept a baby's first book. So this is baby's book of first. This was given to me as a gift and I've tried to fill this in. Now it's so difficult sometimes when life gets busy to remember to fill these kind of things in but at the same time it's important just to capture some of those memories. Like I said before there's so many changes when they are in their first year they're learning so many new things and you want to remember when they happened you think you will remember but you really won't there's so many things that will happen and you will forget a lot so you just remember there there's a first picture and just some of the details of when they were born and just some memories from before they were born and um, leading up to the first birthday. But there's things like their first visitors, so he was visited by my mum, so his nana, and my sister, his auntie. Another thing that I did was keep a journal. I've just got this little notebook. Um, I already had the book and it hadn't been used for anything else so I decided to use it for his journal. Now I have not been very good at keeping this up to date for the past six months, so it's not really first year, more the first six months. Um, but it would be good if I could have kept it up 
just with little notes of when things happen but then the other book that I have for him also does that but this is more detailed information on things that had happened and I've just kept it so at first I was keeping it daily and then when things would happen I would write in it uh, it says here on the 11th of February last night was the first time in a couple of weeks that you've woken up in the night for a feed you woke up at 2.30 a.m. and 6.30 a.m. since you had your immunizations you haven't been feeding as well and you, you've been out of routine you've also been very clingy today you've wanted to be held a lot especially as you've slept so I would have totally forgotten that if I had not written it down and just little bits of information and this will be something I will be able to pass on to Tommy when he is older and I wish I'd been able to keep it up more but life gets in the way unfortunately sometimes and it just gets too busy to keep everything up but I am grateful that I did write in this at the beginning particularly when everything was so new and it was new for me, new for the, our family to have a baby here and I'm so grateful that I did keep this to begin with. Another thing I've done is take a monthly photo so on his first month and then second month, third month and so on I've taken a photograph and that's been taken in the same spot every month. I've taken it in his nursery, on the chair in his nursery and I've put on the chair his blanket and a teddy bear and so th those things were in every single shot and the teddy bear was like a reminder of just or to show how big Tommy was um, in comparison to the teddy bear as he grew and then I put a chalkboard on the chair so that I could have the month that he was. I will link below the blog that I wrote about that and I will put a couple of photos in now so you can see some of those photos that I have taken of him. And the last thing that I've done is created a video of photographs from Tommy's first year. Now, I didn't take a photograph every day, but each day that I did take a photograph, I saved one of those photographs in a separate folder so that I didn't have to take too long to put it together once he had turned one. I just had to pull all the photographs from the one folder into my software to create a little video of his first year. I also slotted in a few v videos like a video of him turning over, uh, rolling for the first time, some a video of him trying food for one of the first times he tried food and when he first started to walk. So just a couple of videos in there as well but I was able to create a first year of photographs in not too long because I collected the photographs as the year went on. I didn't want to commit to taking a photograph every single day. I know there are people who do that, to take a photo each day and to create a time-lapse type video of the baby growing. I didn't want to commit to that because I knew that I probably wouldn't be able to keep up with that. But I did want to collect the photographs from each time that I did take a photo to create this. And that was something I thought of quite early on and I was able to organise those photographs so that when it came to it, it didn't take me very long to put it together. It was more about being organised than anything else with that. But I am grateful and I love watching that video. I will link that below and maybe be above if I can work out how to do that. So you can go and watch that video as well. That's pretty much everything that I did for Tommy's first year to remember them. I also did do a cake smash for his birthday, but that was more about celebrating his birthday than remembering his first year. I'd say to anyone wanting to do something like this, maybe you're pregnant and looking forward to the arrival of your baby and wanting to remember their first year, try not to set yourself up to too many responsibilities in their first year. You're going to have so much on your hands, but do try and do something. You will regret it if you don't. I sometimes felt like I did too many things and quite often people would say to me you're so good Leah with all the things that you do but I set myself up for failure quite often because I set myself too many tasks but I am grateful that I have done those things now and I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed that I didn't keep up the journal but that was probably too unrealistic to keep up for me I know other people will be able to keep that up but then I did lots of other things and I did return to work after Tommy was 10 months so I didn't think that I could keep up those things 
all the time but I'm grateful that I did keep up the other things that I did do. Sometimes it was difficult to keep up with everything but I am grateful that I did do it but if you're thinking of doing this make it as simple as you want to make it. With the monthly photos you can just take a photograph of your baby, don't even have to do it in the same spot each month, I just chose to do that but you don't need to do that and if you want to make it simpler I just use a chalkboard and then put the number on afterwards but you could make it simpler and just have a piece of card there with the month written next to them and just pop it next to them and just to make it a bit easier and a bit simpler for you but do what works for you and but don't try not to forget to do those things remembering the first year is so important and I love looking at the things that I have put together for Tommy and whether I do that in the future if I have any other children I don't know it might get a little bit more difficult having two children but I am grateful that I did do it for Tommy I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've got any ideas of things that you've done or would like to do for your little one, let me know in the comments because I'm always looking for craft ideas and ways of saving memories. So I'd love to hear your ideas as well. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.